Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time was a pretty major uh, episode where we uncovered quite a bit of story regarding uh, the Kirijo, uh, Kirijo group. Uh, the people who basically made the school, Gekukan High. And uh, basically most of the island that we that we go to school on has Polonia Mall and all that. Um, we found out that they are actually kind of responsible for the shadows wreaking havoc in our world and for Tartarus it seems somehow um, we uh, we beat the uh, the third full moon boss uh, the lovers one and Hierophant one I believe the it was a bit of a double trouble on that one we um, yeah we were on the cusp of the final exams and uh, Ikutsuki basically said um, basically invited us to go to the Kirijo, Kirijo group proper um, on another island somewhere uh, during the summer where we'll actually get to see the, the research lab. We also figured out uh, quite a bit of backstory on uh, on all the characters, really. Um, Yukari, basically, her dad used to work for the Kirijo group, uh, and he was one of the people, one of the fatalities, one of the casualties, uh, when the school exploded 10 years ago. Well, when the lab exploded 10 years ago. Um, we learned Junpei is very, feeling very insecure, very down on himself after the last uh, boss battle. I'm going up and down just so it doesn't go into the cutscene. Um, actually, I'll just go into here. Actually, no. There's music there. Um, I'll go. Into, I'll stay in here. Uh, yeah, Junpei was basically feeling inferior to us um, because he never gets called on by the other teammates. He never, I guess, hangs out with them that much. Um, we learned about Mitsuru and her difficulties with her father. She feels like she's feels kind of estranged to him for some reason. Um, Akihiko has some history with, um, uh, Shinjiro, the guy with, like, the red coat. You can tell they have, like, some kind of history, and it seems like he used to be part of the C's group, uh, and quite possibly has a persona. So, we got that backstory. Uh, we also hung out with Miyamoto a little bit more, the track team, uh, the track team social link. And the Gourmet King. And how he's trying to con us out of... Uh, what was it? 132,000 yen? Something like that. Something outrageous. And we're basically like, fuck you. And haven't talked to him since. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There was a lot that went on the last episode. Uh, but yeah, we're right at the cusp of the final exams for the year. Right before the summer break. So, let's get right to it. Oh, yes. So, I kept on saying before that I thought that I had bought the the, uh, the deluxe version, and I hadn't. And I realized that when the, um, the uh, not season pass, but like the expansion pass was also announced, which I know there's a bit of controversy behind that. I'm, I'm a sucker and I bought it. So I bought both that and the deluxe. I upgraded the, to the digital deluxe. Um, and basically what the expansion pass is, in the original Fez version, um, there was a an added-on uh, segment. The main story is called The Journey, and that w the added-on part was called The Answer. And it basically takes place after um, the main game. So... I was under the assumption I'd heard that it was part of like this actual game. Like once you played it, it unlocks, but apparently I was wrong. Um, so I did buy that. It comes out in September, so there's still it's still quite a ways away. Uh, that's what it says on the uh, on the Steam page anyway. So yeah, uh, yeah. So that's why there's there's this here now. So with the deluxe stuff, we get the uh, Persona Four Gold. Yes, I. Yasugami High School costume, the Persona 5 R uh, Royal Shujin Academy, and the Phantom Thieves set. And they can be obtained from the closet of my room. Awesome. Personas. 
Oh, you got a Persona set too. So I know when uh, Persona 5 Royal and Persona 4 Golden, the Persona sets were basically like, the first time you use them, you get them for free. Otherwise, they cost like tens of thousands of yens. Um, we're not going to be using them because they're super overpowered. Especially if you're at like a lower level. It's basically instant win. Like, you, you just sit back and like, what, whatever combat you're doing, you're going to win instantly in like the first or second round. And I'm not going to do that. Not for my first playthrough anyway. Yeah, the DLC Persinos can be obtained there. So, we got some background music. That's good. Uh, settings from the configure menu under system settings. Uh, maybe we'll play around with it at some point. Um, and we do want to do a cram session with Akutsuki right before exams start tomorrow. But I just want to check the costumes real quick. Should I check the stuff in the closet? Yeah. Yasugami uniform for ten of them. And Shujin. Oh, I guess for the other... Well, I guess that's kind of a... <laughs> I guess that's kind of a spoiler. Yeah, there are ten different... Uh, uh, basically, uh, team members throughout the game. So we've only uncovered, like, what, five of them? There's five more to go. Uh, okay, I guess we can only access them during uh, during our time in Tartarus, which we'll do afterwards. Um, well, I mean, we can access it now, but we're not going to be able to see it, right? Clip. Yeah. Anyways, let's get to it. About Yakushima, remember that you won't be able to go if you don't score well on your exams. Since everyone's here, why don't you have the third years overlook your studies? Sure, why not? Goodbye. Alright, I'll let the other second years know too. With a ferry trip to Yakushima on the line, I hope you perform fair, very well on your exams. Uh, yeah. I'm fine helping out with studying, but wouldn't it be easier to focus without the distraction? They say studying with others grants benefits that can't be found alone. Hey, so if we flunk the exams, are we really going to have to stay behind? Tell me that's a joke. It's no joke. As students, studying is our top priority. Failure will result in consequences. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Not naming names here, but don't get in the way, Junpei. What happened to not naming names? Uh, I guess if the fate of my trip depends on it, I don't really have a choice. I'll show you. I'll prove just how serious I am about Yakushima. My hand stops as I hit a tough question. What's the matter? Something you need help with? Uh, vocabulary, math problem, grammar. Uh, let's do... Let's do math problem. An arithmetic sequence, huh? Do you remember the formula for calculating its sum? See, if you do this... A beautiful formula. Really arithmeticals, my fancy? <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. Let me write that down. Wisecracks from Junpei are one thing. But I didn't account for this. Same. Maybe he's trying to... Test our ability to concentrate? Uh, yeah, I suppose that's not likely. Hmm. Akutsuki sounds one up in me. I gotta think of a killer comeback. Oh, come on. Stop getting distracted. You need to concentrate on your studies. She's right. Gotta focus. Let's keep at it. Why are you talking to me? I focused so hard I couldn't hear anything else. Yeah, three notes, baby. Are you struggling with memorization? Oh, my brain! Nothing beats repeating it until you know it by heart. My brain is pulsating. Beats? Heart? 
<laughs> Not bad, Kirito-kun. What? No, that that was not my intent with that statement. Sure, it wasn't. Well, if you're pulling out of the race, then I win, hands down. Kirijo Senpai defeated. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. Despite the diversions, I'd say that was productive. Keep it up so we can all go to Yakushima together. Sounds good. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're going to do well in these exams. We studied hard. I mean, I hardly studied, but he studied hard. First semester final exams begin today and will last for five days. Oi. All right, we got this. There better not be any fucking trick questions like last time. Which form of magic is used to find water sources? That would be dowsing. I have a feeling this is the right answer. Limit half. This question seems familiar. How did the witch of Agnesi gained the first half of its name. Uh, it was a mistranslation or something, wasn't it? Yeah, an error in translation. Yeah, I believe that's it. I have a feeling this is the right answer. Yeah, baby! that flute man or it could be like a piccolo or something some kind of reed instrument anyway this question seems familiar who designed the prototype for the katana oh it was something no something Tyra, Tyra no Masakado I believe that was it yeah I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's it I studied hard, guys. Alright. There's an error in the sentence. What kind is it? Okay, this is the fucking split. The comma splice. This has a comma splice. This does. The other one didn't. Oh, uh, my brain is so smart, guys. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. Yes? I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Oh? It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. Really? I thought it prudent to inform you. Thanks. Well, I wish you a safe journey. Likewise. Yep. Yep. Hey. I love how... Oh, you don't sound good. I love how he's just, like, standing there, like... I have five minutes before I have to go to school. Oh, my phone. He's just so robotic. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How have you been? Don't ask. Man, I can't wait to let off some steam. Gotta let loose during summer, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't know. So last day of exams. Question's just too easy. My pen won't stop moving. It's doing the jitterbug. I aced PE. 
<laughs> well, that pretty much answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Uh, nope. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? If it makes you feel any better, I'm not ready either. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool? All right, let's get out of here. Woo Dude is super excited. Freedom at last! What should I do now? Take it down a notch, will you? You bounce back from things so quickly, Junpei-kun. He really does. You know it. Oh, hey, Sonata-san's here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka! Oh, hey! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, what study wait, session? Are School's you about done. To head out for the day? Okay, then. <clears throat> never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence, such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. The hell is he? Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Hey, it's a little kid we saw at the... Hello. At the park. Oh, Amata-kun. Or the... What are you doing here? What is it called? Not the shrine. You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom, but she got in an accident. So now it's just me. Ooh, it happened damn. two years ago. Sorry, kid. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, Damn. he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. <sighs> Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. <sighs> so we're getting a kid, eh? A little one. <laughs> Ooh. Bye bye school exams. Hello, summer vacation. Yakushima, here we come. Can't wait for Monday. Oh, two days. Maybe I ought to head up Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Yes, precisely. Oh, speaking of Polonia Mall, here, take this. A black sword. Hmm? What's that? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
It's just a small reward. You'll deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you ever heard of Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayo Mayoido. That'd be correct. It just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure that'll be of great help to you. Why? How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? Hmm. hmm. I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I'll let you take care of it from here. Dante Shop, Polonia Mall. The chairman suggested I pay them a visit. I'll head over there now. Antique shop is this one right here, I believe. Yeah. Myoido Antiques. How they'll be able to help me, I don't know. Guess the only thing left to do is find out. Welcome. Wise words. Welcome. Oh, wow, she's sultry. Oh, are you in high school? And you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. It seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Mikutsuki. What? Ugh, excuse me. Hmm, what's that? Here, let me have a look. I see. I see. So you're one of the ones Kurosawa ta was talking about. This is, but a hum this is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I can be of some assistance to you. <laughs> as long as I have something like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. Of course. I can help you with the crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quite unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. By the way. Also, if you find any gems or the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. You now travel to Myodo Antiques to conduct an item fusion or item exchange. Item fusions involve expending one weapon part and a handful of required materials to create a unique piece of equipment. In the item exchange, the proprietor will take any gemstones off your hands in exchange for items. Materials that are used in item fusions can often be found in Tartarus, so you'll be able to collect them as you explore. Okay. I got my hands on some pretty interesting wares. Feel free to look around. Okay. Teddy bear. So it's been the, much more pleasant around here recently and on Port Island in particular. So well, I on guess the, that just shows how much time has passed. So the gems on the right are the ones the owned is what I have obviously required is what I need to buy whatever is on here. So my hair really grows. Oh her hair really grows. Might please someone. Kaleidoscope. So bead. That'd be good. Wow, that's pretty expensive. Okay. So trade I'm card. Sure this will prove to be useful. Cover would be interesting. Ooh, invigorate would be good. So I'm doing some personal way, research, oh but I can't get my hands on certain items. If you find something interesting, bring it to me, will you? So the way these cards work is you basically tack them on to um, a persona that uh, you, that's in your um, that you're currently um, that you're currently using. Like you know, how, like uh, Omi Omi coin. The, that fucking brain tentacle thing that would always show up because I'd use it all the time. It'd be the one that I'm like that's currently equipped. So if I put invigorate on, uh, on Officer if I put Kurosawa it as a skill, and I go way back. He and my neighbors usually keep me in the loop about everything going on. Sorry, I didn't want to fucking interrupt you. Um, you basically uh, use up a skill slot. And you make sure you have it, you have the persona equipped, and then you'll get the recover SP churn every time. Hmm. 
but they need to be equipped. That's the important thing. Wow, that's huge. I'm doing some personal research, but I can't get my hands on certain items. If you find something in, what would you like? Nameless Katana. So these are all for Makoto. Holy Night Sword. Changes attack affinity to light. Both antiques and gems can lose their luster very easily if you don't take good care of them. Especially during this time of year. Oh my god, Creating shut up, equipment. woman. To Manual make this, blade. you'll need materials. So I don't have a Nile blade. But, like, I can make stuff for other people. Uh, with a Nile blade. Black sword so, looks like it's only for what will me. It be? So, I have a Nile cloth. What will it be? Plus 30 SP, wow. Okay. Well, regardless. Please bring the required everything good. No exit. Come again. Regardless, we don't really have enough gems for anything right now. But it's good to know. Um, oh, right. Hey. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to, tur to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. <laughs> are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Sure. Gave the man 10,000 yen. <laughs> yes, yes, very good. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Goodbye now. Yeah. The thing is, you have to pay in order to get the uh, the advancement in his social link, anyway. Hello. I wouldn't mind going out with a guy who walks around topless. As long as he's tanned and toned like a surfer. That guy I saw earlier, he was just freaky. Long, greasy hair, pale skin, no meat or muscle, just parading around half naked. He was so creepy and gross. Well, doesn't it bother you when you're one of the only people dancing? Hey, how's it going? Not groovy. Can't seem to get into the groove either. It's heinous, man. Maybe I've got that apathy syndrome thing. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright. Let's head back here. Wait a minute, what was over here? Oh, okay. I already talked to him. Oh, that's right. Maybe I'll visit Mido, Mayoido, so, uh, myself whenever I've a bit of spare time. There's a thing or two I'd like to ask. But above all, I'd love to take the time to browse the antiques and learn the grand history behind each piece. Um. Uh, let's talk. Oh, hey. I'm so excited for the trip. I've only read about Yakushima in textbooks. A short while ago, I wouldn't have uh, been able to even fathom traveling together with everyone. By the way, have you made up? Uh, have you made all your preparations for Yakushima? Uh, I'll start getting ready soon. Yes. Well, we're leaving the, the we're leaving the day after tomorrow, early in the morning. Make sure you're ready by then. Uh, well, I don't really have a lot of money, so I'm not really gonna buy anything. Uh, he's gonna be watching something. Yeah. A match with the heavyweight champion who make many consider to be the greatest of all time. Burned the TV recording about uh, I burned the TV recording of it onto a DVD a while ago, and I suddenly feel like watching it again. So now his eyes are glistening with excitement. Might uh, and he might gain a new ability. Not now. Hey. Amada Kun is so mature. Can't believe he's only in elementary school. There's a certain someone who I wish would learn from Mamada Kun's example. Why do you think he's so childish all the time? Even an actual child acts more grown up. Eh. Kids had a hard life already, though. 729. You know what? I might actually take Junpei up on his offer. 
I know we're never, you're not supposed to give them too much water, but what if they're not getting enough? I'm not too confident doing it on my own, so if you're free, that'd be cool. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't planted anything yet, and... Oh yeah, we want to try these Amronian sprouts. Amronian. Onion. I just got it. Um, so, cures elements, yeah. Okay. Plant it. All right. Let's get to it. Grow up big and strong, my precious, luxurious veggies. Man, all this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. Kind of just feels like busy work. Think of it like we're training. What? You some kind of monk now? Trying to reach enlightenment or something? Why not? If we get to train and raise veggies, it's like killing two birds with one stone. Maybe we should try catching flies with chopsticks, like one of those master swordsmen, huh? Gotta say, you've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place, so I gotta be the one to look after them. True. Down to the rooftop planters with Junpei. Da 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 da! The veggies have leveled up. The extra care is paying off. I can harvest more. Whew. Another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. Post exam break begins today. It's amazing. I'm going to do it. All right, the sweet seasonal corn sets. You gotta have corn for summer. Sweet, sweet corn. Good, good. First, we have the tetracone, and you get three of them. This is the one item I highly recommend. I don't remember what tetracone does. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this macar macaracone. Macaracone too. Guess how many? Three. All this just for wow. Sure. Just means I gotta make Thanks, sure to use it. Kid. We'll be introducing part two of the designer brand set. Uh, we probably won't buy anything from that. Bye bye. Oh, something going on down here. Stations near the high school. Oh, right, we already. Oh, was it the kitty cat? I forgot about the cat. The little, the little puss puss. Cat looks very weak. Seems like it might be hungry. Give it. Meow. Cat is purring loudly. It seems happy. It seems to have regained all its energy by eating the cat food. I think it'll be okay without me having to feed it anymore. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Nurse the cat back to full health. <coughs> Meow. It also seems to have grown. Maybe you say so. That means I can go to Polonia and talk to Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth. Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. See, you have successfully fed the hungry cat. That is a great relief. Thank you. I can feel relief in the very cockles of my heart. I hope it prospers forever and ever. Please take this as your reward. Male summer garb. Lovely. Okay, so I need to bring something from the ocean. What is it? Who the fuck knows? Maybe a shell? Maybe a starfish? Maybe I won't sand? I you do anything. But it'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, fuck. I, I should have 
Fuck. Oh well. Uh, okay. Well, the potent medicine is gonna have to wait until school starts back up. Very well then. Uh, what's over here? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Let's do Maya. Solar eclipse on the 22nd, said to be the longest solar eclipse in history. Viewers will only be able to see 25% of the sun from Tokyo and 18% from Osaka. That's quite a big difference. As a result of the eclipse, the temperature will just drop slightly. Good to know. Uh, is anyone upstairs? So mind your own biz. Nope. Let's buy the SP drink since we're here. Because why not? Hey, Maya. I don't think our bond will grow. That's nah, fine. Yeah. Uh, hello. News is on right now. No Featherman today? Thanks, kid. What's up, peeps? Hi. Kirijo Senpai and Sonata Senpai aren't here, so I don't think we can go to Tartarus tonight. Since we'll be leaving for the trip tomorrow, I think I'll call it a day for now. Um. Oh, um, by the way, do you think Yukari-chan's doing all right? We went shopping for swimsuits this afternoon, but she looked pretty down the entire time. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. <sighs> hmm. It's not like I don't like Yakushima or anything. I usually love the ocean getting some sun. And I don't get seasick, so the trip's not an issue. <sighs> I just... I guess I'm not really in the mood for it right now. Well, that's your own damn problem. <laughs> Dude, I'm so ready for this. Look out, ladies. Here I come. Well, yes, but... Is that all you think about, Junpei-kun? Jeez sure know how to leave your troubles behind. I wish I could let things go as easy, easily as you do. Nah. You gotta live life to the fullest. And how are you gonna do that if you're always stuck at moping? I know you're right, but still. No, he's got a point. Dude has got a point. And it sucks I can't read any books without being invited to do so with, from anyone else. Uh, I guess we'll... Try finishing off the computer. Oh, 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 I gotta, I gotta check. I gotta check. Sorry, guys. I just gotta check. Is there drinks here? Yeah. See, and I would have missed out on the Fountain Dew. Come on in. One day. Uh, guess we'll do this one, featuring videos and taking down enemies. Maybe all lot attack will be stronger, that'd be my guess. Effective security measures online. This seems to be a website that helps with training security team members. There's a list of self-defense videos here, each with a detailed text explanation. I decided to start with the most watched video. I watched a how-to video on subduing violent individuals. I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe I can use what I learned in our fights in Tartarus. We learned how to use ambush. You can now ambush enemies while exploring. When ambushing an enemy, you'll trigger chance encounters regardless of the direction an enemy is facing. 
Press and hold the, R the right trigger to dash for a set distance to enter the assault state. By pressing X while in this state, you will ambush the enemy. Triggering an encounter from behind will slightly increase Makoto's theurgy gauge and may distress the enemy at the beginning of battle. Okay. So I should be running. That's the that's what they're saying. Cool, yeah. I like it. I dig it. Trip to Yakushima begins today and will last four days and three nights. I need to get ready. Ooh, cutscene. Whoa! Looks like we're finally coming up on the island! Hell yeah! Ya! Koo! She! Ma! Jeez, you sound like a little kid. Aw, oh, he's just having fun. Personally, I'm ready for some training. I do wonder, what kind of flora and fauna live there? <laughs> Short and sweet, I like it. Swanky. Wow. It's like we're in an episode. Of lifestyles of the rich and fabulous. Welcome back, milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her associates from school, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo vacation home. Please follow me. Associates? Dude, real life maids. <laughs> I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely proves it. Hmm. It's good to see you. I heard the news. There isn't much here, but make yourselves comfortable. I, yes, sir. goes so was that her father he was so intense and what's up with them wearing a suit in this kind of heat what's wrong with that we won't be here long but make yourself at home sweet this is gonna rock hey want to go to the beach it's literally right there oh man i'm so ready for this come on let's go what? We just got here. I mean, it's gonna take time to get changed and stuff. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Man. Ah, got the sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Can you imagine having a private island with your own private beach? With your own private vacation home? Jeez. Yep. Summer's here. Darn. There's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Akiko, what the fuck are you wearing? Whoa, what's with that swimsuit? Yeah, seriously. What do you mean? Dude. Swim briefs? Nobody wants to see your junk. But they're better for swimming. You gotta be kidding. We come all the way to the beach, and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do! It's summertime at the beach! I've got the perfect activity. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh hey, they're here. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takeba! That's quite a bold design. She's really strutting her stuff. Archery practice must do wonders for the self-esteem. Mm. 
If no one seems to have claimed the umbrellas around here, do you think we can go ahead and use them? Ooh, next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi! Wow, Fuka, uh, do you wear swimsuits often, or...? Oh, whoops, was it something I said? Didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> hey, cut it out with that laugh, you creep. And for our final contestant of the day. Damn. What happened? Is something wrong? Wow, Kirijo Senpai, you're so beautiful. You know what I miss from the old animes? Like when. When guys see like gorgeous women, they just start like the nosebleeds, like just gushing blood. That's what I kind of half expected here. Yeah, your skin is totally flawless. Hey, did you put on sunscreen already? N no, not yet. No, well, we can't have that. You gotta put some on right now. Oh, can I help? That's okay. I'll do it myself. Yeah, dude. Dude. So, which one's your type? Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, me personally. Oh man, I'm gonna put me on the spot like this. Oh yeah, Fuka's not really my type, not at all. She's cute and all, but the the innocent stuff isn't really my thing. Uh. I love the redhead stuff, and Mitsuru is like banging. But Yukari is more like the fun kind of thing, you know what I mean? Between these two, Yukari and Mitsuru, I don't know, man. Tough choice. I think of my first playthrough, I went with Yukari. Maybe I'll go Mitsuru this time. I don't remember what happened with the Yukari thing. You know, fuck it. Let's go, Yukari. Ah, just as I thought. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. Look at Akihiko. He's All like, right. really. I think it's about time for a swim. Charge! Oh, I'm not letting you win that easy. Like, uh, wait, what did that say? I feel uneasy. It's like someone's watching me. Whoa, it's cold. <laughs> that uneasy feeling went away. What are you standing over there for? The water's fine. You said it's cold. Oh, you get to walk around. Hey, Mitsuru. It's a lovely place, wouldn't you agree? When I was younger, I used to come here fairly often. But I haven't had the chance to visit since starting high school. That's it? That's all you have to say? Woohoo! Thanks, Kirito-senpai. Right now, I feel like I could die with no regrets. The water is very nice looking. Oh my god. Here we are on summer vacation, but I still have to deal with Junpei's usual antics. That you do. Help us, please! Why? Junpei, come on, stop! Oh. <laughs> Tell you! Take this! And this! Come on! Water fights are pretty much a given at the beach. Nice and cool, ain't it? Hey, knock it off! You're taking this too far! Okay, fine. You asked for it. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm glad everyone's having fun out there. Our operations during the dark hour are taxing on both mind and body. You should relax a little. Rest up. If you need to take a break, the best spot to kick back is underneath the parasol.
I don't know if that's what's going to lead to like the next thing. Oh, there's something there. T oh, there's something there too. All right, fine. Wonder if this driftwood washed from shore from a distant place. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to gather, get her something that feels like the ocean. You gotta get driftwood of all the fucking things. Get like a shell or something, or even a fucking rock. Driftwood. Oh, is that seaweed? Watching the waves roll onto the shore is somewhat calming. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get her something that feels like the ocean. Maybe some seaweed swirling in the waters at my feet. Maybe Elizabeth would like it. Okay. Weird, man. The white sand on the beach is so fine. It feels nice underneath my feet. Yep. Pretty seashell. See, that's more like it. There's a boat docked at the pier. Bet it'd be nice to row a boat in this vast ocean. Yeah, it would actually. Be nice. So this leads to the next theory, I guess. Dude, where are you going? They say never play alone at the beach. I mean, we're not alone, though. Hey! Mm? You leaving already? Uh, not yet. <laughs> this is the beach we're talking about here. You know what that means. Cute girls in bikinis. Yeah, but I think I've done everything. You know, I just realized no twilight fragments. That's very sad. That is very, very sad. Any coconuts? The coconut nut is a giant nut. It's a great song. Okay, but everyone's just standing around doing nothing. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> what? That's lame. I'm going to stay a little longer. See you later. Peace. Even the food was fancier than I could have imagined. I've never had to think about the proper way to use a fork and knife so much. Ugh. I can't eat anymore. Not even another bite of caviar. No one said you had to try to eat all of it. Well, I'm sure we're all exhausted from the trip. Why don't you go rest up in your rooms? Oh, are you not coming with us, Senpai? Yes, I'll join you in just a minute. I'll join you in just a minute. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it for so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kirijo family separated from the Nancho group. <sighs> huh? You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. I understand. You accessed our database, didn't you? That brings me to my next question. Why didn't you ask me directly, instead of using this trip as an excuse? I... I'm sorry. Bring them here, all of them. I have no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. 
everything. There's a girl named Takiba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? Tell Yukari, guess he's gonna talk about From her what dad. I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power, it was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. Unfortunately, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. In fact, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. Ooh, got a What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Wait a sec. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. I'm afraid the damage will be staggering. At this point, it's unavoidable. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Destroyed the entire world? Whoever is watching this, please. I need you to listen to me very carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. In order to end this, you have no choice but to eliminate all of them. I am the one responsible for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so, I chose to continue without objections. I am responsible. Huh? Dad? You mean that was... <gasps> Father. His name was Eiichiro Takeba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, are you... So that means... My dad caused it all. The Dark Hour. Tartarus. The people who died. It was all his fault? Hey. <sighs> so is that why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, talk about I... I don't want your pity! Talk about... <sighs> Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Will you go? Oh, all right. Sure. Thank you. I believed in him for so long. This is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. That must have been tough. 
Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though he said to my family, it was more or less all about me. And that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But now... Now I can see it was all for nothing. Why is it all for nothing? That's not true. You're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Reality sure is harsh, huh? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. And you know, I think maybe I was jealous, too. I mean, after all that's happened. Why does Kirijo Senpai's father get to live? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Not at all. Wow. I don't know how you do it. You're always so calm. Nothing ever phases you. Did you really think I could just be cheered up so easily? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. I can barely make sense of all of this. I'm so afraid. I just feel so lost now. Just tell me! What am I supposed to do now? Stay with us and fight. You really are something else. Sorry for acting like this. I know you've lost your parents, too. I'll be alright. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? I wanted to help. Aren't you a smooth talker? Thanks, though. Kari's laughing through her, though her eyes are all red from all the crying. Aw, let's hug her. Hey! Wow. Yeesh, what's taking you guys so long? Everybody was getting worried. Cock block Junpei. That's what we gotta call him from now on. It's almost the dark hour, so we gotta head back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh did I miss something? No, I I just almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Oh well, come on, that's common sense. Even I remembered that. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the Dark Hour. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We can't escape reality, can we? I guess we've just got to stay strong, huh? Yeah, guess so. Alright then, let's head on back. Feels like I'm being watched again. I decided to head back anyway. There's... I don't see anything around. What the fuck is that on the top left? No, I think we're all good. Okay, so a lot to unravel. Um... So a lot to unravel in that last 10 minutes or so. Um, 
So Kirijo used to be part of a bigger group, um, and they broke off, although it's unclear why. Not sure if it has to do with um with what uh with the research stuff going on. What was it called? The Nando group or something like that? Um and Yukari's dad was basically the head researcher, it seems like. Um, he's the one ultimately responsible uh, to bringing the shadows to our reality. Not like, not the Kurijo group in general, but him specifically. I mean, they pushed him to do it, but he's ultimately the one responsible. Um, and it weighs a lot on both Mitsuru and Yukari's minds. Because, uh, I mean, Mitsuru feels guilty, even though it's nothing she did wrong. And... Yukari because she's angry because she has no family anymore. She has her mom, but I don't know what's going on with the mom. I guess they're they're estranged. But at least the father is like uh, Mitsuru's father. Um, like he's owning up to it, you know. Like Kirijo is. We made some mistakes in the past. We made a big mist, big fucking mistakes, but they're owning up to it. They're they're trying to fix the problem by sending teenagers into the the belly of the beast, so to speak, with Tartarus. Um, but it's it's an interesting premise. It's an interesting setup. Um, it, it's, it's pretty much at this point where, like, th this is where you start to learn all about what's going on. And I guarantee you, again, I'm not going to spoil anything. I remember... I remember certain details of the story yet to come. I don't remember everything. But there was like twists and turns you will not see coming at all. Even I was like amazed back in the day. I was shocked. Um, but cool stuff. The uh, Cool stuff on the horizon. It's day two of our vacation in Yakushima. The air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Mm. <sighs> Awkward. <laughs> Fook is like, all right then. <laughs> oh, uh, did you hear about Junpei Kun yesterday? He was acting so indecent, I didn't know how to react. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Go ahead. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. Huh? A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need more information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a type of combat vehicle. An anti-shadow weapon, to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta tell the others. Where's my phone? We're not currently with everyone, so it might take some time for us to regroup. I see. In any case, I want you to handle this as soon as you can. I'm on my way there now. I'm on, on we your can't way secure there. the target. Do we have permission to destroy it? I highly doubt you will be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Once we do that, we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although searching the whole island won't be easy. Ugh, the one time we need them and they're nowhere to be found. Do you check the beach? It's probably where everyone is. Yeah, see? Huh? Well, the girl's not up yet? Man, those sleepy heads. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. That's really what you're worried about? 
Junpei, that reminds me. Didn't one of the maids give you something as we were leaving? <laughs> you saw that, huh? One of the maids gave me a letter. <laughs> oh, man. What if it's a confession of love? Well, it sure is tough being this popular. You're a moron. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It says, we've gone to see the Jomon Cedar Tree. Huh? This looks like Yamagishi's handwriting. Oh man! We're at an island resort in the middle of summer! Why are they going to the beach? That's just not right! Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I just wanted to lighten the mood yesterday. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter now anyways. We're on our own. Just a guy. This is the frontier of romance. We're bound to meet someone new out here. We'll call this Operation Yakushima Beach Fling. Fling? Is you this mean a private we can island? Pick up girls? How about it, Sonata san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I should have known this was your plan. What do you think about this? I don't care. Um, uh, sure, let's begin the operation. Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. What? Why? You said it yourself. This is an operation. Oh man, that's bullshit. You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. <laughs> oh, Jinpei. What the fuck? I th I thought this was a private island. What the fuck? Hey, baby. All right, we're gonna head back first and start prepping for the barbecue. Okay, thanks for walking us here. We'll join you after we take some photos. Forest bathing is great and all, but I hate forest bathing. But I hate that it gets my feet dirty with mud. I can't relax on the beach like this. I think I'll take a quick shower first. Why is there like weird the weird combat music playing right now? Girl have little girl having fun. I'm gonna collect pretty seashells and make a necklace. You do that. I heard there was a beach where kids can play. I was nervous at first, but I decided to move here. Now when I see them playing so happily, it makes me glad we came. Sweaty man. Are you here to pick up chicks? You're doing it wrong. You have to be more subtle or it'll put them off. I'm here today with the intention of getting a girlfriend too. That makes us rivals, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, baby. Ooh, target sighted. Let's move in for the kill. Okay, this is my area of expertise, so let me give you some pointers. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question and get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where are you from? Or, having fun? Once you get started, you'll be going back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off, then you ask the questions, all right? Okay, here we go. All right, let's see where this goes. Hey there, ladies. <laughs> Having fun? None of your business. No need to be shy. Why should we tell you anything? Why? Uh, well... Come on, we're just making conversation. How is this like playing catch? Don't worry, I got this. Watch and learn. So ladies, are you in college? 
Or maybe you're already working. Um, you guys seem a little young. Are you still in high school? Nope, not us. Seriously? You sure look like high schoolers from here. You know, sorry. That, that was a lie. Oh, really? Junpei. High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Why? Sorry you feel that way. We're only here because we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Wow. A vacation home in Yakushima? <laughs> Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, had to save up our own money to come here. Oh, that's a pretty big accomplishment, huh? No, not really. So what do you guys want, anyway? We came to... <laughs> I'm s so I gotta... Sorry, Junpei. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I like your honesty. Don't encourage them. They'll go away if we ignore them. Wait, wait, wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beauties? <sighs> These guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. See you later. Yeah, you were playing catch, all right. Hey, I did my best. And what about you, Sonata-san? If that's how you feel, then show us how it's done. Why do I have to show you anything? Well, you said this was an operation, didn't you? Aren't we supposed to work together in order to succeed? I guess you've got a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you, at least. Can you give me a hand? I'll go ahead and set the pace. Alright. Alright, Rakiko. Let's see what you got. Yeah, high school vacation here. Meanwhile, there's a little girl walking around the beach. Come on, it's time for us to go home. Daddy's waiting for us. What's for dinner today? The fish daddy caught? Um... Talk to the people first. These girls were kind of harsh. You shouldn't have uh, argue. You shouldn't argue with them when they're like that. Just screw what they say and shower them compliments. This is a very basic technique. Yeah. I rented a car because I heard you could drive along the coast, but I can't really see the ocean from the road. Well, it's fine because my girlfriend had fun anyway. Oh, good for you. Woman, woman in a good mood. All right, uh, guys, good driver. So cool. I end up watching them instead of the scenery outside. Are you hitting on me? Sorry, but I'm here with my boyfriend. Well, good for you then. Uh, wait, my feet in the water. Wait, what is that? Rocky area. Waves are lapping on the shore. The waves that lap on the shore are sparkling and shimmering. Oh. Tiny crab. Okay. I wasn't considering a crab, but sure. Is there something else I missed? Just double check this area here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Spotted a new set of targets. Hmm. What are you waiting for, Sonata Shot? Show us what you got. Yeah, show Just us. Keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko. Are those boys looking at us? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, Yoshie. I'm surprised you could see from over there. All right. Time to get in the ring. <clears throat> uh, uh, hi there. 
uh, sorry to bother you, but um, I, I wanted to ask you something. And what would that be? Yeah, uh, um, are you uh, two here alone? <laughs> are you hitting on us? No, no, not, not at all. We just thought that if you're bored, uh, you might want to talk, or uh, uh, a chance meeting like this might stir things up for both of us, uh, you know? Um, isn't that what it means to hit on someone? Haven't you heard? It's lame to hit on girls at the beach nowadays. Does who? Aw, oh, come on. They were bored anyway. And besides, they look kind of cool. <sighs> really, Nobuko? Hey, how old do we look to you? About the same as us. Around 20? Seriously? We still look that young? Aw, I'm so happy to hear that, even if it's just flattery. To tell you the truth, we're actually older than that. Oh, you are? That, that's too bad. Yo, wait! That's fine by us! Older women are more mature and experienced and stuff. You know, you're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys anyway? Truth is, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. Oh gosh, that's more of an age gap than I was expecting. See, it's not gonna work out. Besides, I doubt you're having any fun talking to us. There we are. Come on, no you're not. I don't think there's anything we could chat about that you'd find interesting. Unless you want to hear me complain about my boss. Uh, complaining about your boss. Um, <laughs> that might be fun. Oh, yeah. You're not very good at lying, are you? You really don't have to try so hard. Yoshie, don't ruin the conversation. He said it might be fun, so just play along. Nobuko, oh you need to stop being so nice to everyone. Okay. I'm not saying I'm the smoothest talker in the world. Th this is this conversation is done. Th there's there's oh, no play here on. whatsoever. It's been ages since I've done this. You've teased these kids enough. We should head back. They're gonna be waiting on us, you know. They? You mean you have boyfriends? Oh, right. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Well, we gotta go now. We're meeting our boyfriends back at the villa for a barbecue. You can come if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sonata, son. What happened? We look like a bunch of idiots. <sighs> and you. You haven't been pulling your weight either. Excuse me? You gotta come through on the next one. You hear me? Excuse me? I was pulling my weight. Hey you, you're checking out my girlfriend, aren't you? I'm doing more than checking her out. Hey baby. We should get going or we might not make it in time. I wanted to surprise my boyfriend, so I booked us a fancy dinner. Hey, she booked you a fancy dinner. Peace! Looks like she already has a boyfriend. Tough luck. Slim to hit on girls at the beach, they said. It's really not. Uh. Okay, anything else. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking around. Alright. There's a woman over there all alone. It's unusual to find someone not in a group. No boyfriends to be seen in the area either. I think we're in the clear. All right, time to make contact. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, she's hot. Say, uh, 
You here alone? Yep. And I'm so bored. I've been watching you, by the way. You've been trying to pick up girls for a while. Well, how'd you do? Uh, it was an utter failure. <laughs> That's what I thought. You boys don't understand women at all. Guess I can't deny that. You, in the hat. You're way too wrapped up in yourself. Shouldn't you be thinking more about how to make your partner happy? Yes, ma'am. You in the t-shirt. You're the type that's stoic, but not very experienced with girls. I yeah, I guess that might be true. You seem like kind of a hassle, too. Like you're super logical about everything. <sighs> and you, with the long hair. Hmm. I'm not sure about you. Hey, don't hold back. <laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. Like, no one can ever tell what you're really thinking. You know what I mean? I do. Oh, you're so smart. Mm -hmm. I got four on I my stat, you're baby. Just my type. Hey, wait a second. Just joking. I like you a lot too. Really? Want me to tell you what would make me really happy? I don't like where this is going, guys. Yes, ma'am. Could I ask you to help me put on my sunscreen? What? I mean, uh, you're all right with that? Of course I am. I have enough for you, too. <laughs> I think Jupe oh, just man. came in his, in his I'm shorts. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm not passing up this chance. Would you two like to join, too? I'll give you a good deal. A deal? You know that sun in the sky isn't real, right? That's an artificial sun that got sent into space back in the 1980s. Eh? Huh? You didn't know? Turns out that sun sends out harmful rays that mess with your body's equilibrium. Normal sunscreen doesn't work. But that's where this special one comes in. And if you opt in right now, you can get three bottles for just 300,000 yen. Oh, God. Hey, doesn't she sound kind of strange? Get in there, Junpei. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going for it. Ah, what the hell? Don't leave me behind. <laughs> what? You're leaving? Delusional lady. What for? Pretty lady to delusional lady. This sucks so much. What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. Uh... I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. It's not like you scored either, Sonata-san. Why you always gotta be so logical? Even in front of babes, it doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? Champagne Sonata continue to pick her. That's it. Leader, whose fault do you think it is? It's both your faults. I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, that answer ain't gonna cut it. And besides, what the hell do you know? <laughs> what? Do you see something? Ah, uh, the lady in blue with headphones. Hmm. Wow. 
Weird looking chick, huh? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh man, this is insane. If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water. How about this time? We try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, scissors. I lost. Oh yeah, I win. Okay, I'll go first. Sonata Sonata second, and you'll go last. Here goes. Good luck. Uh, hey. I notice you've been uh. Staring at the ocean. So, um, you here with anyone? My name's J Junpei. J Junpei? <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if you'd be down to talk. If you're not busy. I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Oh, yeah? You are not that someone. Wow. wow. You got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, hey. Do you like the uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. Uh, you know, I heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. Makes sense. That information is irrelevant to me. Uh, <sighs> wow. <laughs> well, I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> this sucks. I could cry. Hey, don't cry. Ugh, you're making me feel bad. Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. All right, we're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. I got this. I'll avenge you. What should I say to her? <laughs> hey, baby. Um, let's start off basic. Hello. Me. I didn't hear what he said, but she looks surprised. We should go over there. <sighs> Initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. The fuck? Naruto? Hey, what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! Uh, but it wasn't my fault. This could turn into serious trouble. You gotta go tell her you're sorry. If you don't, we'll get all the blame. Go on, you can catch her if you hurry. Decided to follow the girl into the forest. Didn't he just say yesterday, like, don't go alone? Come on, go after her. Get on your knees, beg for forgiveness, and introduce her to me. Please. Oh, Junpei. The way she just started off is odd. I'm not sure what you said to her, but you better clear up the misunderstanding. You know what? You're right. It was a misunderstanding. I I think I said hello with the with the Cockney accent instead of hello, and just scared her off. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what kind of run was that? It was like the slowest fucking run ever. I should go after her and clear up the misunderstanding. Naruto run! <laughs> Wee! It's like a little girl just like going through, like, like uh, frolicking through the fields. Wee! Ha ha! Wee! <laughs> what the fuck? Should go after a clear. Yes, I know. That's what we're doing. Okay, can we take more than like 10 steps at a time, please? What is this? Hiding behind the sign. I lost that. But really? Really? Fucking really? How old are you going to be? It was a big forest, you know? It was Jeez. There she is! She must have been... She must be the one who's been watching me. Uh, wait patiently. Yeah, I'll wait patiently. Now I am certain. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be at your side. Oh? Oh, hello. Whoa, look what? at her legs. Are you freaking kidding me? But what's going on? You didn't even say anything to her. Look at her legs, her feet. Doesn't seem like she's... It seems like she still doesn't want to let go. Look Here at, you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Listen, we have a slight situation here. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need everyone to go back to the house and gear up. Ah, oh, that won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Mr. Chairman, what do you mean? <laughs> you had me worried. You can't just leave the lab on your own, I guess. Understood. That's right. Sorry for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. What happened to securing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. I guess, join us over here. Understood. This is I guess. As you can see, she's a machine with the form and face of a human girl. I am I guess. My objective is to exterminate shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. No way! It's like she's... alive. This is unbelievable. How can a robot be this cute? What a cruel world. Ten years ago, a plan was enacted to create anti-shadow weapons. A contingency in the event a shadow became unmanageable. Igis was the last one to be made. And she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she has a persona, too? Correct. I am capable of wielding the persona called Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat her first year out, and she's been kept in the lab ever since. I'm still not sure as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. In any case, I hope you'll all get along. An anti-shadow weapon, possessing a will all her own. This is amazing! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, when we first saw you earlier, you were, uh, 
hugging our leader. Do you know him? Yes. It is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm. Yeah, but why? Maybe her facial recognition system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. Very interesting. Hmm. Half asleep? Well, I can ponder this later. Anyhow, I forgot to mention. Did you know there are a wide range of recreational facilities you can use here? There's a tennis court, a pool table, and even a karaoke machine. Silent orchestra. Would anyone care to hear me sing? No, no, no. Uh, no. 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 It's day three of our vacation in Yakushima. One more to go. Man, I can't believe it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could, but I can't complain too much. You went through a hell of a lot here. Yeah, like hearing you and the chairman singing. <laughs> I barely got any sleep last night. Hello, ladies and Do we Robert. have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Yes. I am informed of the concept. Recreation is sustenance for one's mental well-being. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, wait. Junpei-kun, is it okay for Igus to go in the water? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, are you done already? It is best that everyone partake in this activity together. Deriving enjoyment alone is not the optimal method to have fun. <laughs> You've got some strong feelings on pretty weird things, don't you? Well, also what the heck? wrong. Might as well. You gotta have fun all by yourself. We should join them. <laughs> Agreed. Enjoying yourselves. Aren't Quite you warm in that fucking thing? Our time here, but it looks like we'll get to relax a bit today. <laughs> that would be nice. Sonata son, what are you doing? Come on, it's your turn. My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship is arriving tomorrow, right? I'll probably head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back to business once we've returned to the dorm. Got it. Hey, dude! Sonata son! All right, I guess we should join too. I guess, wait, that's not what water got me! Such all pretty right. cool. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. Ooh, all-out attack. Do it. Wait. Time out. This year's a kid thing. Yeah. <laughs> I had a fun time with everyone in Yakushima. With I guess joining, things are likely to get livelier. Level five of the full rank. You seem to be in great pain. Only mind, body, and soul. You again. Shit, it's them! You mean those three? Ugh, they're freaky. They're like freaky. Shut up! Let's get out of here! Why do they always run and hide at the sight of me? 
Maybe I wear a like shirt. Back alley rats. <laughs> Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> hey, Thanks. caught air. I'll pay you the usual way. Now hold up. With my dick. This time, we'd like your payment in the form of information. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full, of course. They've spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. I wonder, why did they take this burden upon themselves? Hmm. You do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it perhaps because... You're one of them? I'm not. I've got nothing to do with them anymore. Then tell us. I'm sure you'd agree these pills are more important than a group you have nothing to do with. <sighs> I don't know the details, but... Supposedly, destroying all those creatures will put an end to the Dark Hour. And that weird-ass tower will disappear. That's all I know, alright? You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour completely? Why would they do such a thing? To give up such power? Uh -huh. To destroy the Tower of Demise? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn thing? <sighs> Kaya. Yes, I know. Kaya. <sighs> I can't go back. I won't use my power again. Not after last time. But what happened last time? The box on the counter. Tetracone and Macaracone. Macaracone. Man, I'm beat. Seemed to take forever to get back. Oh, hello. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah. There are six more to fight, right? Just the last full moon, shadows and things will go back to normal. Uh, no more apathy, sy uh, apathy syndrome incidents. Just plain old everyday life. Let's do our best. After all, we're the only ones who can help. You are not wrong. Um, let's see what those do. Reflects magic damage for one ally. And fights physical damage. Okay, fair enough. Has a unique shape. Smells intensive to see. Emits sounds of distant waves. Moves quickly in dark places. Let's talk to people here. You see, hmm, is there something you'd like to know about Igus? Where are the others? I assume you're referring to the other anti shadow weapons. Yes. Well, there are quite a few created. You could say they were Igus's siblings. However, they were all destroyed 10 years ago in the incident. Igus has been quite lonely since then. You see, why is she so human? A persona is a product of the human psyche. So the plan had been to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form that weapon would take. If we had a tank, for instance, a mind's, the weapon's mind would recognize itself as such, and a contradiction would arise, and we all would know a tank is not a living entity. A human mind is trying to reconcile its existence in this way would break down before you could blink. So, how do we prevent that contradiction? You see where I'm going with this, don't yes. you? When, a, when given a body that more closely resembles the expectation of the mind, the spirit stabilizes. That is why Igus and her siblings were built in the form of human beings. You see... Okay. How come she knows me? Hmm. I couldn't say. Perhaps it's a bug in her facial recognition programming. I'm sure it's nothing to concern yourself with. You're not worrying over much, are you? You see... I mean, kind of. Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Greetings. These are your lodging quarters? Very well, I shall remain by your side at all times. She's still far from passing as a human. It doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings in conversation yet. 
If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. <laughs> Everyone seems worn out. You must be exhausted too. Let's not go to Tartarus tonight and just rest instead. Nicely done. Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon. That'll be a most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are useless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, the souvenir from Yakushima is très bien. Means very good in French. Well, about that. A lot of people are joining the team, huh? Wait, well, what do you say? That. Big difference from a while back. True. Yeah, we just start off with three of us. Four of us, really. Huh. She looks like a normal girl, as long as she doesn't do anything too weird. But if she does, do you think anyone will figure out that she's actually a robot? Well, maybe not. Most people probably aren't on the lookout for undercover robots. True. Oh, no, no. <sighs> she's super cute, huh? She's super cute, but made, of st made out of steel. It's new territory for me. Honestly, I don't know how to approach this. It's like, uh, it's like hentai, like, do I or don't I? Is this something I like or not like? 729. Let's see what's on TV. On the telly. The day's exchange rate. There are now 115.2 yen to the dollar. An increase from last time of 0.15 yen. Okay, we gotta go talk to Elizabeth. And turn in all our shit that we got for her. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Okay. Oh, I see you're carrying something related to the ocean. May I have one? Um, you can have... All of them? Small crab. Oh, is this tiny creature a crab? How adorable. <laughs> snip, click, snip, click. Their movements are so unique. I must give it a truly a magnificent name. You may rest assured I will nurture it with great care. How splendid. Thank you. Because of your stories and your lovely souvenirs, I was able to experience the ocean myself. Take this as your reward. Amethyst. Five of them. Cool. Uh, no. Very well. Good oh, was day. There, was there something else? I humbly request that you score me somewhere once again. I'd like to investigate a certain area known as Iwatsu Dai. I shall be waiting then. If you have the time, please come fetch me so long as the sun is out. Are you accepting a request? Okay. Very well. So we haven't saved at all this whole session. We will save now. And I think that's going to do it for this session. Um, a lot happened. We got a lot of story uh, this session. We learned about the origins of uh, the origins proper of the, um, you know, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, how uh, Yukari fits into this. Um, and, uh, you know, we gain an, we gain another party member too, technically, with uh, the little kid who's joining our dorm. Um, whether he's actually a persona user, don't know yet. I guess is obviously a persona user, so we'll see how she does in battle. But um, our group's growing, group's growing considerably, um, which is good. So yeah, as I said, we did a lot of the story this session. Uh, I think. For the next little while, this story kind of like slows down a little bit. Not to say nothing happens, but yeah. It's not going to be as like uh, plot filled as like the last few episodes. So, uh, But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.